Here we are in Avid Media Composer, and we've already exported our video. And since we are going to upload to YouTube, we probably want a thumbnail. And what I want to do is export a still frame from our video here in Avid Media Composer. So that's what we're going to look at how to do real quick here. It's a real quick and easy process. And if you know how to export video, then you already know how to export your graphics. So all we have to do is find what frame would we like to export. I'll hit Control Shift F, go full screen. See, that's blurry. I want to go back a little bit here, just using the arrow keys to track back. And that's a nice clear shot right there. So I want to export this frame and just this frame here. Let's go back here. So what you do in Avid Media Composer is basically whatever you have selected whenever you go to export is what's going to be exported. So I just make sure I have that clip selected. My timeline is sitting right on top of that position. Make sure it's positioned exactly where I want it. Make sure that's selected. You don't always have to select your sequence. I just, I just like to do that personally. And then I just make sure that's perfect again just using the arrow keys that's pretty much it so then we come up here to file output export to file and then you can always choose the destination of where you want that saved v is fine for me then what we need to do is come down here to options and right here this will usually be on say quicktime movie uh, whenever you export your videos that's, this is what i usually use and same as source and this is my settings here but in order to export our graphic we'll come up here to export as use our drop down and choose graphic now pay attention to what you have checked over here. I only have use selected tracks checked. I actually don't even need that checked at all, but I usually just leave it checked and I have all of my tracks uh, selected there. So the inactive audio tracks wouldn't, wouldn't matter here in this case. Use marks isn't gonna matter here in this case because we're just exporting one image. Just be careful if you have this selected and maybe I didn't have this uh, video track one selected, then even though I may be seeing this because I have my viewer there, it won't actually be exported. But since we have everything selected, then the topmost track in this case is what's going to be uh, exported. Graphic format, I use PNG or JPEG a lot. But you can see you have tons of different options. Of course, you can always hop into the format options for each of the different graphic formats. Defaults are fine usually. From there, you have your width and your height. This is actually 4K video, but I'm going to go ahead and export 1920 by 1080 because that's what I'm going to throw into Affinity, title it, and then upload it to YouTube. I could, of course, export a 4K graphic and then squeeze it down to whatever I want. So keep that in mind as well. You may want to export a larger graphic and then you'll have a little more uh, leeway, a little more you can get away with uh, when zooming in and cropping and whatnot. All right, but for me, 1920 by 1080 will work. Then we have our color levels. I've already gone way into depth with this. Since this is going to be a graphic, I'm probably gonna want full range, okay? That's what I do my videos as full range, being that they're going online, but you can always try legal range if you want. All right, and that's pretty much it. We don't need sequential files because we're just doing this one image. Click save, we have all that set up. Now we give this a name. We'll call this my title. Then just hit save. And we'll export our PNG file. So we'll just hop into that. It's on V and my title, there it is. Open it up and there it is. Looks great, our nice still image. So that's really all you need to know in order to export your uh, frames, still frames, still images and graphics from your videos in Media Composer. So you can then throw those into Photoshop or Affinity Photo and then upload that for your YouTube thumbnail. We can also access that export menu instead of coming up here to file output and export to file. Instead of doing that, I could just park my playhead wherever I want to export just as we did previously. In this case, I'll make sure that track is selected. And instead of coming up here to file, I can right click and we can come down here and choose export. It's essentially the same exact thing. You'll see you have the, the same options there. This is export as, come to options, and of course we have our drop down graphic, and uh, we can size this however, however we want, just as we could in the other menu. So that's essentially the same thing, but you can also right click there if you don't want to come up here to file and then export to file. All right, and before I go, I will also mention, as I already mentioned up top, Pretty much whatever you have selected in Media Composer is what's going to be exported. So if I put my playhead right here, for example, okay, file, output, export to file. We actually don't have to go into options this time because graphics will be remembered. All of our settings are fine. I could do JPEG if I wanted, but we'll just keep it on PNG. Let's just call this one my title two. Save it. And let that export and open the window and you can see it's right there. 
So whatever I had selected, wherever I had that playhead parked, that's what exported. Now what if the title you want to use or what if the graphic you want to use isn't in your timeline? Do you actually have to cut it into your timeline after you export your video in order to get your graphic out? No, you don't. Like I said, pretty much whatever you have selected is what's going to uh, what's going to be exported. So I can load up something here into our source monitor. Maybe I want this. And I'm going to park my playhead right here. So this is the last thing I touched in Media Composer. The last thing I touched is what's going to be exported. File, output, export to file. Again, options. Let's do JPEG this time just for fun. All right, save that and we'll say my title three. Save it. Then I'll just grab the folder. What do you know? Right there it is. My title three, exactly the frame I had my playhead parked on. The thing that we had last touched is exactly what was exported. All right, so that is how you would export a still image, a graphic from your video here in Avid Media Composer in order to make a thumbnail to upload to YouTube. Just park it, park your playhead wherever, uh, wherever you want. Always, of course, Control Shift F go into full screen so you can actually make sure you don't, you know, you're not landing on a place that has some motion blur or something. Make sure the last thing you touch is exactly what you want to export. Always use my arrow keys there just to adjust. File, output, export to file. Choose your destination. Choose options. Choose graphic. Choose your graphic format, whatever you want. Choose your format options for that. Keep in mind whatever you have set here. Color levels, your width and your height. Save that. Give it a name. My title four. Click save. And that's really all there is to it. And now you've exported your graphic and you can go ahead and throw that into Photoshop or Affinity Photo, put any titling on there that you want and upload your thumbnail for your YouTube video.